Hey guys, I uh, just want to make a quick little video because I had some questions for you reef guys out there. Um, I know I've been in this hobby for about four and a half, five years because um, I had that little 10 gallon reef, an awesome one, for like four years. And that took about a year, year and a half off. Well, I had to save up money to get to get the to get this one and all the, the supplies. But I have a few questions for you. Um, well, first off, let me tell you. Um, last Wednesday, I bought a McCosker's Ras, and he ate that night when I put him in, and then he ate the next morning, and then he disappeared. Well, it turned out he died. So he died within like 14, 15 hours of me owning him, which was really odd because he was eating and everything. Um, so I thought I'd share that, but the other thing that I wanted to ask you now is um, since I used all do-it-yourself rock, my wife and I made all this rock, um, as you can see I'm having a huge diatom explosion. Um, I've got about, I want to say, seven or eight hermit crabs in here and that's probably not enough so I'm going to buy some more this week. But my question is, um, since I don't have any live rock in here, the only live rock I have is that frag plug from my mom's 30 gallon uh, Fowler tank that I showed you guys just the other day. Um, so my question is, what what am I expecting next? Since this is all do-it-yourself rock, there's no real live rock. There is the bacteria from um, Dr. Tim's bacteria, the one and only. But... Um, as you can see, these white marks, though, that's, that's where the crabs um, have eaten off, which they've done amazing. Those white spots, that's where the crabs have eaten off the diatoms. But as you can see here, I have some brownish hair algae growing in only in some areas. Pretty much on that old live rock bit and on that old live rock bit, as you can see right there. Um, is this anything for me to be really concerned about? Um, like I said, I'm going to get more crabs and stuff, but is, this, is that anything I really have to be concerned about? Or is this completely normal uh, with the diatoms going everywhere? I should know the answer to this question because I'm pretty sure it's yes, it's normal, it's expected. So to any of you that have a system like this where you did your own rock, no rock from the ocean, um, what was your experience with it? How long did it take the coralline to grow? Did coralline grow on it at all? Um, my other question, since I have my sump doors open, is uh, can you guys see my return chamber? The water is pretty stagnant. And do you see that skim filth on the top? That, that milky-ish... What do you guys... Do you guys have any of that? I've never really seen that in anybody else's tank. Um, yeah, there you go. There's a good shot. Yeah, you help me with this. Um, do I just put a power head in there or what? What what's with that? That's been here since the tank's been been up. And then here's my refugium. Um, I run this opposite of the lights, but my lights are nothing. Which I'm gonna turn the lights off after this video, I think, to, to stop with the diatom growing. It's getting a bit much. So yeah, as of today, I only have two clown uh, two fish yet, just the clown and the diamond watchman to go be because my McCosker's ras died, which is really unfortunate. And my chato really is um, growing a lot. So that that's just my video for now. I'm running out of time on the camera. So I'll talk to you guys later.